Welcome to Boss Automotive. 2018 G80 Sport Essentials, a top luxury contender, hands down. Leave your extravagance auto identification dedication at the entryway. What is it? The 2018 Genesis G80 is a fair size extravagance brandish vehicle prepared to go up against the enormous young men, at any rate from Japan, if not Germany. The sport show includes more forceful styling touches all around. It comes standard with person on foot discovery, program crisis braking and driver consideration caution. A 360-degree multi-view camera framework is discretionary. Key competitors, Lexus S, BMW 5 Series, Lincoln MKZ. Base price, $58,725 as tested price, $58,725. Full review, 2018 Genesis G80 Sport First Drive. Features, the 2018 Genesis G80 Sport is just offered with a 365 horsepower. 376 pound to foot twin turbo V6, in either back or all wheel drive potence. Game adaptations get copper trim, Genesis Mark brake calipers, dim tail light trim, and quad tipped fumes. Our opinion, they're doing it, Hyundai is influencing a keep running at the champs with a Genesis to brand, and this G80 Sport vehicle should put the built up players on take note. It's smooth, it's attractive, and it's intense. The late Equus may look somewhat dated, and marginally subordinate now, however I figure auto students of history will think back on the Korean organization's first shot at world-class extravagance as a defining moment. The full sizer was great, maybe awesome considering its cost was well under the BMWs and Mercedes of the world. The Genesis Mark G90 is far and away superior, and this G80, with its smooth copper emphasizes, tops them all. It's a BMW 5 Series contender that figures out how to feel new and frontline in a for the most part exhausting section. The 365 horsepower twin turbo 6 is splendidly suited for this 4,674 pound vehicle. It takes off and moves easily regardless of how far your foot is squeezed into the throttle. It makes for a profound snarl at redline yet the oar shifters are relatively unnecessary, they don't generally get adapts any speedier. Simply keep it in auto, unbrandish. Like the G90, the G80's suspension douses up all the cruelty of Detroit streets, however it additionally oversees not to move over in hard turns. The controlling at speed is profound, yet when ceased there's a couple of creeps of play on focus. It was peculiar, not really awful odd, but rather credit it to the electric power directing framework. Finally, Kia and Hyundai have been slaughtering it with their infotainment for some time now and they simply need to repeat that despite everything it works immaculately. The touchscreen is great, everything kicks on in a flash and just interfaces with whatever you connect to. CarPlay, Android Auto, the entire arrangement. Taking a gander at the costs now, the Bass G80 is just $42,000. The E-Class and 5 Series begin in the mid-$50s. The AWD Sport G80 is somewhat more costly at $58,000, yet it just barely peaks the costs of those mid-trim extravagance mammoths. What's more, you'd need to get into a M or AMG rendition to top the G80 Sport in control. On the off chance that one is searching for an extravagance brandish car, this G80 must be test driven. Screw whatever identification reliability you could conceivably have.